that's the Chowchin channel, Stan Turnjo here, and it's finally time, it's finally time, it's finally Pokemon Scarlet and Violet time. It is finally time to start our Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. This is literally the first time I have played it, I've literally just opened up the box. And they put the game in the, in the Switch, so this is going to be interesting. I am going to play it in English. I'm going to turn it slightly down, and now I've got to uh, figure out what I want uh, Joanne to look like. Uh, go with that one. Start with. My name is Joe. But, of course, uh, this is going to be our Nuzlocke file, so this is going to be Joanne's adventures through the Palaya region. So it is time, it is time for Joanne to make her appearance here in the Palaya, re in the Palaya region. Hello everyone, I am Lantern Joe. I've been doing YouTube for nine years now, and I absolutely, absolutely love what I do. Honestly, it, and I can't wait to play games, uh, these new games with you guys. Oh, can, wait, I can change hairstyle now? I thought I'd have to go to a hair shop to do this. Bob. Yep, short Bob. Uh, a long Bob. Yeah, long Bob. Okay. And... No, no, no. Oh, the red's nice. I mean, we can't go with Scar. We can't not go with Scarlet. The game is called Scarlet. We are going with the Scarlet hair color. Yeah. When you say look, what do you mean look? Oh, I can change eye shape. Okay, I didn't realise I could do all... Vile, you can do a lot with this game. I will admit, I would rather have like a little preview as I'm going down the menu to decide all these things before I like have to like click on them to decide this. I will admit that's one slight gripe, but that's only a little gripe. But the fact this is almost like actual like character creation in a Pokemon game. And that's really cool. Yeah, sure we've had like character creation for a while now, but like it's never gone this detailed before. So I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm giving them a, a, you're going to have uh, the uh, the eyebrows, the, the scarlet eyebrows too. Um, mouth. Um, oh, you can have lipstick. I don't need that, but sure. You can have beauty spots. You can have freckles. As a kid, I did have freckles. That's really cool. You can have all these things. Yep, I'm going to go with this look. Ready. Okay, so this is the Nangela Academy Nangela Academy Enrollment Application. Language English. Name Joanne. Yeah. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Enrollment complete. Angela Academy, taking lessons and uh, trans from transformation, growing strong tradition. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you two to dive in. 
into this world of Pokemon. Oh, I'm excited. Director Cavallel, head of uh, Nongella Academy, the Palais region, is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to many mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They are they reside in great numbers, in fact. There is one of them. It's cute. I like it. Pokemon can be, uh, be found living all over the all over the place in the seas, skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with our Pokemon as we help one another live and thrive. Nangela Academy is here to help you learn even more about our precious partners. With, within our halls, people from all regions gather and study together. Wait, is that a new muck? Is that? Oh, that's got a bit... That is a new Tauros. I've never seen a black Tauros before. That's cool. I want a black Tauros. As Pokemon trainers, they uh, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing strong uh, alongside them. Yeah, it's got to be a new Tauros. I'm I'm literally only going off what they've shown in trailers. So if I've seen something that isn't in the trailers, I'm going to be excited about this. And this Black Tauros is one of those things. While our robust cus uh, curriculum of coursework helps students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these halls that you we, the staff of the Nangela Academy, can't wait to, to welcome you with open arms. Yeah, I'm reading too slow. I was exactly waiting for that to happen. But there you go, Pokemon Scarlet. Those look like new Pokemon. New bird. There's those Tauroses, so there must be like herds of them. Ooh, we're gonna have a Flamingo Pokemon this time? An actual Flamingo Pokemon? I'm okay with that. I want a Flamingo Pokemon. I know this is a cutscene and everything, but still, it looks beautiful! And Mastodon crash, uh, crash landed. Ooh, hello new bird! Is that a new parrot bird? That looks pretty cool. I want, I'd like one of those too. And here we are in our room. Oh, it's still got the ancient changing colors of Switch controllers. Because I'm playing with my Let's Go Enjoy Pad right now, and it's got it. Which means, in other words, if somebody had another different colored uh, Joy Cons uh, that they were playing with, it might change. That's really cool. Today on Crodilly Ventures. We'll see Magnosa, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Oh, 
I, it looks so good. Your hat and your bag are here, but it's not time to go yet, so you don't need them. Ah. It's your very own wardrobe, adored with Pokemon stickers. It's a map of the Paldea region. This is uh, this house would be down in the lower part. Oh, okay. So at least I know where I am. In you know where the starter home is. We have a squalette? Cool. Our mum must have a squalette. I'd like Squalette, it's a good Pokemon. Can I sit down? God damn it, Pokemon, let me sit down again! It's a room just for storage, you don't need to go in there. Aww. In X and Y, and in Sun and Moon, in X and Y, Alpha Sapphire, Omega Ruby, and Sun and Moon, I could sit down. In, ninth, in 8th Gen, they took that ability away. I want to sit again. Let me sit. Unless I don't know how to sit. I better turn on all these things. Show it names. Cutscene. Okay, I can turn off skip cutscene. If you turn off this option, cutscenes that you've played through and during the game can be skipped. Oh, this is good for like second playthroughs then. Yeah, I'd like to save these settings. Okay, I don't have the X menu yet, so I can't actually uh, save yet. This is our kitchen. There's our mum. Good morning, Joanne. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at a new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might uh, want uh, to uh, cool your engines before you go racing out that door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your very first day that still hasn't arrived yet. Doorbell. Maybe that's the thing we are waiting for. Joanne, go and get the door, would you? Alright. I will go and get the door. Is that a run button? No, there's no running... Sh uh, there's no run button yet. I can't run. Do forgive the intrusion. Oh, it's the school principal. Are you Miss Joanne? Yes. Yes, you are. On behalf of the Academy, I do apologize for my late arrival of your the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah and the delay of introducing myself. I am the director of Nangelo Academy. You may call me Mr Cavlo. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter on her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures. It is, any failures. It is on my part. So I'm here uh, at last. And here are the enrollment doc. So here are the enrollment documents that should have been delivered to you. Goodness, you really hadn't needed to. Pelipper would have done it really easily, you know. Pel the Pelipper post office would have done it. Since uh, you came all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Uh, there's no need to trouble yourself. Joanne! Joanne! I've got a thing to discuss with the developer, uh, uh, with the director here. When you go up to your room and finish getting ready for school, you'll need your bag and hat as well. Alright. Now, Mr. Cavalier, you must join me for a copper. Come this way. Well, how could I refuse that kind offer? On the second attempt of you offering me a cup of tea, I will actually take up on that. We must come from Gala. 
Because that's a British tra that's a British trait. Yeah, the archipelago character must come from Ga the Gala region because that's a British trait to keep on offering someone a cup of tea, even though they've refused a cup of tea. You just keep on offering it them until they actually accept said cup of tea. It's a thing, believe me. Ready to put on your hat and bag? Yes, I am. I actually like the starting hat for this region. It actually looks rather good. I did not like the Sun and Moon starting hat, but I like this one. Your adventure guide. You can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option uh, from uh, this menu to save your progress so far. When you open your bag, you'll be able to find key items, including your adventures guide. Make sure to check it out. It's full of handy tips like these that you'll uh, receive on your adventure. Ah, cool. I like that. I like how the back, how, how the back looks in this game. I really do. Actually, it looks really cool, and they've turned the menu into, uh, you know, something that's actually streamlined. So I like that. This is your mum's room. Better not go in there without asking. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, just look at you. All ready for your first day? Yes, that uniform uh, of ours stood our study. Yes, the uniform of our storied uh, academy sit, suits you quite well indeed. Oh, goodness. How very careless of me. I have entirely forgotten. That I've got something else for you, Miss Joanne. A very important thing. But in your living but your living room is hardly the place uh, for it. Would you mind following me outside? Sure. I wonder what he, uh, the important thing might be. Let's follow the director and go and see. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come on out of your Pokeballs. We provide it. We provide each student entering our academy with a Pokemon of their very own. I've asked. Uh, I'll ask you to choose which one of these uh, would like to be your. You'd like to be your partner. Spatigo, the grass cat Pokemon. Free Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. They're all very good company. That is uh, why they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm. It seems they are more interested in you, Joanne, than uh, than my familiar old face. I do wish I could stay to see which one you choose, but I must be off uh, to my next home to visit other students. But I'll be just over there. Take you. Uh, I'll be just over there in the house over there. That big mansion of there. Take your time to make your decision, then come and tell me once your mind is made up. Now if you excuse me, until we next meet. What a, man a manly old fella. 
That director is of yours. These three lovely Pokemon... These three are lovely. But uh, you need to choose one, right? That's no easy task. Why don't you take the opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure that uh, they have a lot to teach you. Oh, but, but... Oh, before you go, I've got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you, you if you're going out on an adventure. A random phone! It's the latest model smartphone. Pokemon called Rodum lives inside it. And it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map with the Y button. It'll uh, help you uh, from getting lost. So take good care of this. Okay. Now off you go and have fun. Okay. I will go and have fun. Fun is what I will have. Head to the house down the way. Oh, it gives you little objectives. That's really cool. Can I, I still can't run. Ah, there's the map. Okay. And we have a, a taxi service just like the last game, but not Corviknights. These parrot Pokemon seem to be uh, what we use to fly. Okay, now how do I get off this? Okay, that's how you get off it. Oh, there's a Bweasel. Look, there's a Bweasel right there. And it, and uh, this Pokemon. Wait, does it tell you what Pokemon are available and in routes? That's really cool. But there's a Bweasel over here. Can I go and get the Bweasel? I still can't run though, that's the annoying thing. I'm going to head towards the Bweasel. These things are so, uh, these little Pokemon are so cute. I love each and every one of them. These new starters, but like I don't know which one I'm going to choose. I really don't know which one I'm going to choose. I might have to let fate decide and actually uh, for the LP and like roll a dice or something like that. Although I do like Spratigo, it's a cat. It's a cat, and I love cats. Oh, wait, I can run now. How come I couldn't do this before? I can run now. Yay! This is uh, Cavapuco. It's not much, but it's uh, a prince of a community. It's our home. It's home, but it's home. The power of science is amazing. You can connect with your friends and head out on adventures together. Uh, up to four uh, people can have adventures at one time. You're always here and I love you, power of science guy. You need to go to your neighbor's house. All right, fine. I will go to my neighbor's house. I will go to this huge house. It looks like an almost like a mansion. This is probably my my rival's house. And this is where they got the footage from the trailer. Oh, 
so cute. Yep, that's our rival. Are you the other trainer? Not quite. Miss Joanne is yet to make her choice yet. You see? I do wonder which one she'll choose to be her first Pokemon. Banas. So we haven't met yet, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think this is? Yes, this is our newest Academy student, Miss uh, Joanne. She will be attending the Academy starting today. So, you're that kid that moved in across the road. I've been dying to find out who you uh, more about you. I'm Normella. Normally, I I live in the school dorms, but this is my home. What are you saying, new? Uh, what are you saying, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Mm, I don't really need any friends. I need a new rival though, so sure. Love the enthusiasm. Let's get going. Uh, uh, we're going to get along just fine. I wonder if people have said no. I wonder if you can say no, actually. Because usually those get, uh, they usually auto-lock knock you into saying yes. So I wonder if they can say no. It might say, oh no, that's not a nice thing to say. When you say you don't want to be friends and then force you to say yeah. Miss uh, Nelmella is the uh, president of our student council and the champion ranked trainer. And uh, champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should have a battle right now. You and me. Uh, I haven't picked my starter yet. Cannot battle without starter. Easy now, you two are in the same class. You'll get plenty of time to battle later. Wait, why am I in the same class as her? If she's a champion brown trainer, she should be like a few years ahead of me, right? You'd think? Well, you know, I'd be in like the small, the starter classes. Because I haven't, I haven't had a Pokemon yet. And you'll get to know uh, another, yeah. And you'll get to know one another better, of course. I'm gonna be neighbors and classmates. Uh, we're gonna be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll uh, battle. Uh, we'll be able to battle all the time. On that note, Joanne, it's time to choose, I guess. Have you decided which one of these Pokemon you want to be your partner? Honestly, I have not d d decided yet and I don't know which one I want. So in this situation, I'm going to let fate decide. Let me go and get my dice bag. All right, so here we go. Where's my D? I need to find my D6. There we go. There's my D6. So we are using this dice right here to decide our starter. Numbers one and two are going to be um, Spatigo. Numbers three and four will be Quaxley. Numbers five and six will be Free Coco. And it'll be best two out of three. First fall is... It's a two, so that's the grass type. That's Batigo. Second fall. That's a three, that's Quaxley. 
third fall. That's a five. That's quite Coco. So this one decides it. This is the fourth and final fall. Everyone got one. That's a five. That's quite Coco. So there we go. That's Ray Coco, the fire type. It's. It, that's Ray Coco, the fire type. It's burning hot sparks. F it's. Uh, spl it's splitters. And will fry anything. Uh, any. and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with the fire type, Ray Coco here? I would, but I would like to also hear all the little text about all the other Pokemon too. That's Quaxley, the water type Pokemon. It's quite quiet. It may seem quite quiet, but its uh, mighty steams of water can put out any fire, you see. Okay, and Spatigo. That's Spatigo, a grass type Pokemon. It can, it can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water uh, you throw at it. Well, there we go. That's all the Pokemon, so I'm now going to choose my fire type. Because, you know, that's what fate decided. The fate of the die decided that. You chose Frey Coco. Would you like to give Frey Coco a nickname? Yes, I would. The nickname I would like to give Frey Coco is Bubble. That's why I'd like to give it. I know it sounds like a water type nickname. But to me, Frey Coco looks like the characters from Bubble Bobble. And their names are Bubble and Bobble. So uh, those names are Bub and Bob. So I'm going to call you Bubble. If you've never played Bubble Bobble before, I don't, um, I don't know what to tell you. It's a, um, it's a platform game. But go and check it out. It's a really good game. It was one of my very first games when I was a kid. So... Just, that's what this reminds me of. I used to play that on my Commodore 64. So I'm going to call you Bubble. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'll put... I'm going to have to put my dice back for later because I am actually playing Dungeons and Dragons later, so... Actually, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons in an hour, so I better get this ready. <laughs> Frey Coco seems to have taken quite a like to you, Miss Joanne. This is your first Pokémon, yes? Raise it and love it with care. And, of course, make sure to keep it tucked inside that Pokéball. Joanne, I can't believe it, but you actually, I can't believe you actually chose for a Croco. I mean, it's like the perfect choice for you. You two will make such good, uh, such a good combo. Can I choose one of the Pokemon, Mr. Uh, uh, two Director? No, you've got a Pokemon. Oh, uh. Did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss uh, Nan uh, Namina? Not to me. Uh, back then, no. I had other Pokemon that I was focusing on raising at the time. But now, I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Joanne, while she raises her own partner. Indeed, what a splendid idea. If you wish to ch raise one of these Pokemon, 
uh, equal, on equal footing with Joanne here, then I will happily allow it. Yes! Since uh, Joanne chose for Coco, I'll go ahead and choose this little one. Nice to meet you, Splatico. Welcome to my uh, welcome to the team. Pokemon, make the rival pick the one that's stronger. Give me a challenge to start off with. For the last three games, you've done this. You know. It's where you've made the rival pick the one that's weak to uh, that's uh, that's weak to your starter. Please stop doing this already. Gen whatever generation ten is, and believe me, I'm going to talk. I'm talking years off. But make sure to take uh, make sure to take note and pick the one that's stronger. So that way, the start of battle is a, the rival battle is a challenge. Because if I have Ember to start off with, this is gonna this is gonna destroy her. And I think I have Ember to start off with anyway because I burnt that berry earlier. If we could have burnt that berry earlier. All right then. Now that we have a each of us have a Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and join me when you're ready. Hmm. As you may have noticed, Miss uh, Mangella uh, is a tad fond of Pokemon, overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will uh, get to know you. It will help you get to know your Pokemon as well. And we will join her for a battle in the next episode of our Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join us next time for the next episode, which will be tomorrow. Yeah, um, today is Friday, day one of release. We'll have another episode tomorrow. We'll have another episode Sunday. And then we'll have an episode on Tuesday, and Thursday, and then Friday. Hey. And then we'll go back to a normal schedule once that's uh, once we've had the first couple of days of this game. We'll go back to a normal schedule of this being our normal elf, everyday LP, you know, our normal main series LP. Oh, that's so cool! It has, if you wait around, it has. I can have, uh, look at ask for Coco out there. That's awesome. Can it follow me around? It can. That's really cool. Anyway, anyway, we're going to end off this episode here. Until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon, get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more videos. And of course, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you want to watch some more videos, there should be something in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. But until next time, I have been Lantern Joe, and I'll see you on the next video.